welcome to Just Event Online News at 9. I am an infart, it's Matthew. At its third general assembly on Saturday, held at Ephonix Hotel, Ilorin, the Quara Redemption Movement convened to discuss ongoing efforts and future plans to drive positive change in Quara State. Led by its secretary, Chief Iola Oyedepo. The assembly reiterated the movement commitment to the social, political, and economic development of the state. Our expectations not the fully used in our respective villages. The organizers of the desire of the state is satisfied with what is going on in the Quara State in terms of good governance. And we believe that it will be done better. Yesterday is clear, I mean, we, we said it was not good, but today it is very like we have been told to decide that let us come up with a that is credible and acceptable to the people of the state. Let us come up with a plan that is credible and acceptable to the people of the state. Let us come up with a plan that is credible and acceptable to the people of the state. Let us come up with a plan that is credible and acceptable to the people of the state. Let us come up with a plan that is credible and acceptable to the people of the state. Immediately after the formation of government in 2019, that I want to plead with you not to speak of the of 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 the of 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 the of 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 we couldn't say that the presence of our staff might be more than we are telling us. And we are telling us that they have never seen for the people who are essentially educators. Oyedepo emphasized KRM's non-partisan approach, welcoming members from various political backgrounds who share common vision for a prosperous quara. Solving the problem of the people. There was no plan. There are some variables that is usually introduced into our politics. And this attracting the government deception. That is the That is religion, inappropriate use of money. And that is all that is really not necessary. And that is what we have decided to bring to our politics. Because we Reduce the plan in different areas of Palestine. If you say something is bad, the rate of hunger or the effect of hunger is first. We are going to address the real issues or whatever that is the real issue for the people of Palestine. And therefore, another opportunity has come to the people of Palestine. Because we need to address the real issues. 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 We need he acknowledged key stakeholders, including engineer Umaru Shaba Lafiaji, Ambassador Mohammed Abioye, and Alaji Tunde Mohammed, who provided strategic direction for the movement. The assembly also highlighted KRM's weekly Irapada radio programs on three local stations and the launch of KRM Online Radio, designed to broaden outreach and mobilize support. Oyedepo noted that the online platform, which already has over 500 listeners, is central to KRM sensitization, mobilization, and organization strategy. He therefore called on serious-minded individuals to join KRM in building a movement dedicated to redeeming the state from mismanagement and promoting enduring values for a brighter future. The Eagles Foundation for Humanity, in collaboration with the Nationalization of Nigerian Students, Quara Office of Vice Chairman Special Duties, successfully hosted the elevator workshop from Thursday, October 24 to Saturday, October 26. The three day program kicked off with a virtual lecture followed by in person training sessions held in Ilorin, Kwara State. Given our opening remarks, Comrade Khadija Abdullahi, VP Nans Kwara Special Duties, 
said the workshop aim to equip a notch of female leaders with skills and knowledge necessary to lead responsibly and overcome potential challenges. Skills and insights you gain here should not only enhance your personal growth, but also equip you to make a positive impact in your skills and your communities. This workshop will not have been possible without the invaluable support of the Eagle Foundation for Humanity. We deeply appreciate their commitment to empower the next generation of leaders. I also extend my gratitude to the local organizing chairman, LOC members, whose tireless efforts have been made this event here in reality. Especially recognition goes to Barrister Anifu Oshie, Executive Director of Eagle Foundation for Humanity for our unwavering commitment to this course. In his keynote address, the project lead, Ibrahim T. Abiola ESQ, posited that Elbert our workshop demonstrate the commitment of the Eagles Foundation for Humanity and Anskwara to promoting gender equality and empowering women in leadership positions. The event featured a series of lectures by the speaker, Kara State as of Assembly, Right Honorable Yakubu Daladi, represented by Honorable Rukaya Chitu. Uh, well, this is the first of its kind, Elevate R1.0, which we believe there will be some other ones that will be coming up, maybe probably next year, in the next coming years, so let me put it that way. But as a woman, as a young person, a prospective one who is passionate, especially about governance, we need trainings like this, we need seminars like this, we need workshops like this, just for us to have more information about the current situation of our country, uh, not basically our country only, and about women folks, like what are the gradual things that is happening to women, what we need what we need to refocus on, what we need to do more. So basically seminars like this needs to be continued. And to every young ladies out there, they should be passionate about what they believe in and they should be focused and well determined about it. Ibrahim A. Sharif. Barrister Antonia Oshiniwe. Yes, it is very important because over the years, females have been relegated and they've been made to believe that they can't even lead. So we need this to ginger them. Let me use the word ginger. And even for those that are even going for position, they make them feel they are just like figureheads. So they need to know that they can be active. They need to know that they can get there and make a change. My advice to young females is be yourself and don't let anybody determine who you are. And Abdul Rashid Akogun. As a participant engaged in interactive sessions, gaining valuable insights and expertise to enhance their leadership capacities.